Hey guys, Kate here. The first question is, how long have you been crabbing? I have been crabbing since 2006. I had one crab in 2006, then it passed away. After that, I had two crabs that lasted until 2008. Then, five years later, I found a crab in the Bahamas, and here I am crabbing again. Do your crabs have any interesting quirks, if there are any? What are some funny or interesting incidents that you've had with your crabs? My crabs definitely have some interesting quirks. Bubba likes to hold onto my finger and refuse to let go and to be put back into the crab attack. Scout loves pecans. He will just take one of the pecans out of the dish and eat it in the corner all day. James is very clumsy and never misses the opportunity to fall off of whatever he is climbing. And I'm just like, buddy, why are you doing this to yourself? But obviously he can't help it. Carolina had a way of telling me how she was feeling. When she was upset with me or trying to get attention, she would take her small pincher and just give me, give me like a little warning pinch and then I'd pay attention to her and she would stop pinching. So, I guess she just wanted attention. Okay. Lastly, Junior loves pulling noodles out of the food bowl and dragging them up the log with him. So, this results in noodles hanging from all the logs. Or sticks, which is kind of funny to see. Next time he does it, I'll take a picture and show you guys. What made you first decide to keep hermit crabs? I actually didn't decide to keep hermit crabs. I was on vacation with my family and my niece and nephew wanted to go into this beach shop. Their mom um, then decided to get them hermit crabs and I was just standing there watching them being polite and then before we left my mom told me that I could get one because I had been so good and didn't ask for a hermit crab. So therefore I got a hermit crab. Next question is, what is the first thing I should know about keeping hermit crabs? The first thing you should know about keeping hermit crabs is that you need to properly care for them if you want them to live. Are you planning on getting any more hermit crabs? Yes, most definitely. The only issue is my parents not letting me get them. So once I have, well actually I have the money now, but right now I am about to leave for the summer so I don't have the time to get more hermit crabs. But when I get back, I will probably getting, be getting more hermit crabs and putting them in the 20 gallon tank that I have. Are they fun? They are indeed fun. It is not the same kind of fun as running around with a puppy, but they are so much fun. They have their own personalities, which are really interesting to get to know. And they are also fun to watch because they interact very in very special ways. They have ways of just communicating with each other they're really interesting. Um, they also love crawling all over the place and my hermit crabs especially love to crawl on me. Uh, Bubba's ended up on my head a few times. <laughs> he crawls on my ears. Um, sometimes it's a little painful but he's fun. What are their names? Okay so I have 10 hermit crabs in case you guys didn't know and their names are Bubba, Scout, Little Bit, James, Lily, Linda, Carolina, passed away unfortunately, but then I have Sophie, Morgan, Junior, and Tyler. Bubba, Scout, Little Bit, James, Lily, and Linda, and Carolina when she was living, are all purple pinchers, also known as Conobita clypetus. And then Sophie, Morgan, Junior, and Tyler are all Ecuadorian hermit crabs. They also go by S's um, or E's, and they are Conobita compressus. So if you want to go look that up and find out more about them, go ahead. I've just recently been getting to know all the scientific names, and it's been interesting. <laughs> Next question is, are there any reasons or stories behind some of your hermit crab's names? There are. Bubba was the first crab that found us and Scout followed him soon after. They both walked up to us while we were sitting on a deck doing schoolwork, and their names just kind of came. I believe my sister named Scout, Scout for, I don't know the reason actually, I'll have to ask her sometime, but I named Bubba because that was just the nickname that I kept using on him before we knew if he was a he or a she. So I'd just be like, hey Bubba, and then that just kind of ended up being his name. A uh, little bit. My mom was on a run and found Little Bit and brought her back to me. 
And because she was so much smaller than uh, Scout and Bubba, I would just call her, oh, like, you're a little bit, like, you're so small. Um, so that's how she got her name. And then James was found outside of St. James Methodist Church. So that, those are the stories behind those crabs. Oh, also, Junior. Junior got his name because one day my dad was talking to me and he was like, Junior and whatever you call those crabs. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll name a crab Junior, just as like a joke. So I named Junior because of that. All right. What have they done lately that has been hilarious to you? Sorry, my dog's barking. Um, but lately, uh, well today, Lily grabbed a pecan and climbed up the mesh on the wall of the tank and sat on top of Little Bit eating it. And that was pretty funny. And then recently Bubba has just been eating my skin again and I always find that amusing. The next thing that I'm going to discuss are do's and don'ts with hermit crabs. Do's. Provide proper care for your hermit crab. That is very important for them to live. If you don't provide proper care, then they are most likely not going to live. Another thing is to handle them very gently. And if you don't handle them gently, they'll let you know. Don'ts of owning a hermit crab. Don't pull your hermit crab out of their shell. That is not very nice. That would be like, I don't even know what to compare it to here uh, for us but just don't. Another thing is don't hold on to their appendages like their legs or claws. Um, they don't like that very much. They will pinch you and it also could hurt them. Also, don't spray chemicals near them. Hermit crabs breathe through their abdomen. They have modified gills so when they breathe and if so when they breathe anything that's in the air comes into their body. So if there's chemicals around that have been sprayed in the air, they'll breathe those in and then that'll just go directly into their circulatory system or their, you know, them. It'll go into them. And so that'll kill them. Don't let them run around unattended. I have not done this intentionally. Um, but finding a missing hermit crab is very hard. So just make sure you're always watching them or you have them in a pen that they definitely cannot get out of. Another don't is to play with your hermit crab before a month has passed. The first month that you have your hermit crab, you should not bother them. You should just put the food and water in and leave them. That should be the only interaction you have with them. The reason is that in the first month, PPS or post-purchase stress has the highest rate, I guess, or like that's when they're most likely to get it. And my crab, Carolina, she died from PPS. So you don't want that to happen. So just leave them alone for a month. And then after a month, you know, start playing with them, taking care, like holding them, getting them used to you. Next thing is, what are common mistakes first-time hermit crab owners make? One common mistake I have seen is someone using gravel instead of sand. It is important they use sand because hermit crabs can dig in it. They can bury themselves to molt. It's really soft on them, it doesn't hurt them, and it holds humidity <clears throat> really well. Gravel, on the other hand, does not hold humidity. It's very rough on the hermit crabs, and they cannot bury themselves. Another thing I've seen is someone not using enough substrate. The substrate needs to be 6 to 8 inches deep, or twice as deep as your largest crab. That way they can properly bury themselves, and they have enough room to just dig around and make their cave as large as they want. Another thing I've seen is someone using a tank that is way too small. As a minimum, you should have a 10 gallon tank for two hermit crabs, or even one hermit crab. And then from there, I believe it's two gallons per hermit crab, or five, I'm not sure. I'll have to check into that. But a minimum of a 10 gallon tank. Open air, which creates no humidity. You need a good lid on your tank that will keep in the humidity. You want the humidity to be between 78 and 85, or 88, I say. A lot of places you read it says 75 to 85, but I find that my hermit crabs like it better when it's between 78 and 88. It's just they're more active then. Playing with your hermit crab before the first month has passed. This is a definite problem. 
you should not play with your hermit crab before a month has passed because in the first month PPS or post purchase stress is most common and post purchase stress can result in the death of your hermit crab. How do you know a crab likes or loves you? Okay, so for this one I would say a hermit crab doesn't necessarily hate you or love you. I think it's more of being afraid of you or being comfortable with you. So I would say a hermit crab is afraid of you if they hide in your shell, in their shell when you go to pick them up or if they pinch you uh, while you're holding them or if they're just trying to get away from you generally. And I would say a hermit crab is comfortable with you or loves you if you prefer that. If they're really just open to you picking them up, like if they just sit there or if they even walk onto your hand, Bubba will sometimes do that. Uh, so I would say that they are comfortable with you if they do that and if they don't pinch you and if they just walk around on your hand without hiding. What can they eat? Hermit crabs can eat a lot of things because they are scavengers. My crabs like bananas, noodles, corn, pecans and cashews, chicken, freeze dried baby shrimp and cereal. Um, they also like several other things that I can't remember right now but I know they like other things. But I'm going to put a link down below to a site, I believe it's the Hermit Crab Patch, but I'm not sure, or the forum for it, that has a list of all the things that hermit crabs can eat. And it's quite a long list because hermit crabs are scavengers, so they have pretty hardy digestive systems. What brand of sand do you use? I use Qcrete Play Sand from Lowe's or Home Depot. They sell it there. At Lowe's, I got a bag for $2.50 the other day. I don't know about Home Depot, but I would assume it's around the same. Where do you get your hermit crabs? I got four of my hermit crabs from the Bahamas. That would be Bubba, Scout, Little Bit, and James. I pulled them from the wild, yes. That was before I knew better. Now I know better, and I won't do that again, most likely. I don't know. <laughs> um, but most likely I won't. Lily and Linda came from PetSmart. Again, that was before I knew better. I definitely would not buy any crabs from there now or any animals because of the way that they treat them. You can look into it at PetSmartCruelty.com and read more, but I won't go into that now. Carolina came from a beach shop. Sophie Morgan Jr. and Tyler came from a local pet shop. Who is your shyest crab? My shyest crab is Lily. She likes to tuck up in her shell when I just stick my hand in the tank. And she often tries to pinch me, which most of my, my crabs don't pinch me, but she will give me little pinches. I think it's just because she's afraid, but I'm working on her with that. Who is your most active? I would say Bubba is my most active crab right now. He is just, when everyone else is sleeping, he's climbing all over things and walking around and eating and just everything. And your best climber. My best climbers, climber is Bubba. He managed to get to the top of the tank. It's actually a fish tank. Like, it has a fish tank lid and built-in filter thing. So he managed to get up there and walk all the way across the filter on the back of the tank to one corner and was pushing the lid up on the tank and nearly escaped. Where is a great place, online or store, to buy shells for them? Beach shops are good. They have a variety of shells. They're not, it's not the largest variety. It's a pretty small one. The shells are often large or too small. There's not really any in between. But they are a good option. They're a little expensive too. But if that's the closest thing or the only thing you can do, I would definitely say go check them out. So I found some places online that I'm going to put in the description box also. They sell shells in bulk, in single. They are pretty good places. So SeashellCity.com, MapleSeashellCompany.com, PetDiscounters.com, SeashellWorld.com, HermitCrabPatch.com, and LiveHermitCrabs.com. The last two, HermitCrabPatch.com and LiveHermitCrabs.com, are probably the best. They are used by a lot of crabbers. I know a lot of people like those. It's a big community. So I would definitely check those two out. And then the last place I would check is eBay. eBay, I just looked on there and they have a bunch of shells. That is all the questions that you guys asked me. If you have any more, please comment below or send me a personal message and I will answer them in another video. So I hope you found this helpful. Bye!